Hello, I'm Tom from Made by Loop, and in this video, I'm going to quickly run through how to install scripts within After Effects. And at the end of the video, I'll also look at some common problems that you might face when installing a script. So to start with, have your script file ready. If you've downloaded a zip file or anything, then you'll need to unzip it. And what you're looking for is a .jsx file or a .jsx bin file. And this process is exactly the same for both of the file types. The next step is to open up the scripts folder window. And this location will change depending on the version of After Effects you're using and the operating system you're using as well. So to demonstrate, let's say that I'm using After Effects version 2019. If you're using After Effects version 2020, then swap out 2019 for 2020. So if you're on Windows, the location would be Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects 2019, Support Files, Scripts, Script UI Panels. If you're on a Mac, the location is Applications, After Effects 2019, Scripts, Script UI Panels. And remember to change 2019 for the version of After Effects that you're using. So now we've got the Script UI Panel window open, we'll drag and drop the script file into the folder. And to demonstrate, I'm going to use the Loop Telegram script as an example here. Now you may see a permissions prompt here, and you'll need to be an admin to approve this. You need to have the right permissions in order to change the folder. So if you're an admin, just click OK. Uh, but if you're not, then you'll need to contact your systems administrator to get the right permissions. Or they could put the script file in the right folder for you. So now the script is in the right folder, After Effects can read it. But it's important to note here that if you have After Effects open at this point whilst you've been doing this, you'll need to close it down and reopen it. So once you've restarted After Effects, to run your script, head to the window menu and scroll all the way down to the bottom to find your script. Click it and your script panel will show up and you can then dock it anywhere you like within the UI. So some common problems that you might face when installing a script. If your script still isn't showing, then double check the folder that you put it in. It needs to match the version of After Effects that you're using. You can see here that I have a fair few After Effects versions installed, and so I need to make sure that the script is in the right version. Another issue could be the permissions that we ran through before. Some of the After Effects folders require administrator approval when making changes to them. So if you're getting permission errors, contact your system's administrator and see if they can place the script in the right folder for you. Another issue could be that your script isn't what's known as a script UI panel. Now, all of the made by loop scripts are script UI panels, and a lot of the more popular scripts are, but if you're trying to install a script from somewhere else, then you may need to do the following. When you're in After Effects, go to File, Scripts, Run Script File. Your script doesn't have to be in a particular place when using this method, just find your script file and click OK. Those are the main problems that people face when installing scripts. If you're having another issue, then leave a note in the comments and we'll see if we can fix it. So there we go. If you found this useful, then do hit like and subscribe and head on over to madebyloop.co.uk to check out all of our After Effects scripts and other motion design resources.